An Australian Special Forces patrol has been caught on camera discussing the apparent unlawful killing of an Afghan prisoner by one of their comrades. Video footage from the helmet camera of an SAS soldier details a conversation during a patrol in Afghanistan in 2012. Here's our reporter Mark Willisey from ABC Investigations. It's a video from May 2012 involving soldiers from 3 Squadron SAS. They are clearing a village, they're searching shops and homes, they're rounding up Afghan prisoners. But afterwards, uh, later in the video, we see three SAS operators gather near a mud wall of a compound and it's one of those rare moments where they can get together and have a quiet chat. And it's very clear that there's something on their minds and um, they're talking about a comrade. In fact, they name this comrade in the video. We have chosen not to, to put that out there as yet, but they're talking about this comrade and they're saying, what has happened? It's ridiculous. And the patrol commander agrees, yes, it's ridiculous. And they're talking specifically about this SAS senior operator's handling of a compliant prisoner. And this is what they say next in the video. It was totally compliant. Mate, I was more worried about getting shot. Yeah, getting shot. Getting shot, getting shot while he's swinging his weapon around. Oh, bullshit. I'm not happy with it. Why are they engineers? How about that? Yeah, that happened. They just took him in the corner and shot him. Shot him. And so, Mark, what does this say about what may have been happening in Afghanistan among Australia's special forces? Well, we know, Joe, that there are allegations that have been investigated and are being investigated by the Inspector General of Defence that prisoners, Afghan prisoners, were bashed, that some were shot, that they were unlawfully killed. This would appear to suggest that um, one of those prisoners, uh, a puck as they're called, a person under confinement, was shot by this senior SAS operator. But what it also suggests, Joe, is that um, other members of the patrol not only knew about it, but they were upset about it, upset enough to discuss it amongst themselves. But then that gets to culture as well. Was this reported? Well, we understand it was not reported. No one called it out, despite that level of concern about the behaviour of this operator. So we're looking at a culture of potential compliance, of complicity and potential cover-up as well. Um, we've talked about the normalisation of deviance amongst some of these patrols. We know that only a very few of these operators, these SAS operators, went rogue. But what is concerning as well is that many others in those patrols knew about it and nothing was done. And so, Mark, there's a lot of anticipation ahead of this report by the Inspector General of the uh, Defence Force uh, looking into alleged war crimes by Australian soldiers in Afghanistan. Uh, is, is this one of those... I think there's about 50 cases that are being investigated. Is this one of those cases and what's Defence had to say about it? Well, Defence has said it's inappropriate to comment at the moment because of the Inspector General's inquiry. We understand the report may already be on the desk of the Chief of the Army or the Chief of the Defence Force. We, we can't confirm that. But we do hear that it, the release of the public version of the report is imminent. We don't know whether this particular killing is on the radar of the Inspector General, although one from the day before that this video was taken, we understand is on the radar of the Inspector General. And in fact, that conversation may be about that killing the day before. We, we don't know. But what we do know that it is about some killing of a prisoner. Um, we do also know that from the Inspector General's report to Parliament that he's looking at at least 55 separate incidents of breaches of the laws of war, and that could go all the way up to war crimes. So I think many in defence, many in our special forces are bracing for what we, we understand will be quite a shocking report.